Hello, welcome to Oracle tutorial. Um, so I hope you have got a chance to see the other tutorials on um, the tables and records. So today we are going to talk about a little bit more um, theoretical concepts of database, uh, which does have uh, you know some practical implementation uh, uh, scenarios. So for example, there's something called normalization. What that means is that, if you remember, in our first discussion about uh, separating the employee data and department data into two tables, um, so and we went on creating these two tables, as if you remember. Uh, so here we have, uh, let me separate this part out. Okay, so here we have employee and department because there are two sets of information. But what if, if uh, we repeat all the department columns, like department name, department descriptions here, uh, along with under, right under the department ID. Now that would mean, as we probably remember, that would mean uh, really, uh, for example, duplicating all the department, in, in department, uh, information with each row. For example, uh, we have, uh, let's say there are 1,000 employees in uh, HR department, which is, let's say, department ID 1. For, for all of them, that information would repeat because they have the same information, department ID, department name. And that uh, probably is not a good way to store or retrieve or even manipulate data because uh, if uh, something changes, then you have to really update, let's say if department changes, department name, you have to update all the 1000 records as we discussed before because this uh, this data replicates. But now the way we stored it is we just have department ID. So if there's department name changes, all you have to store, all we have to do is update only one row, which is this. So this is called normalization. What that means is that we are storing, uh, we are not storing uh, data which is not needed. So we are separating out the data based on uh, they are, uh, you know, their behavior or more not behavior, but you know, they are the way they have the object, the type of information they represent. For example, department really is a separate type of information than employee. So we create a different table for each of them and then link them through some sort of a key, in this particular case, department ID. So this separating of information in different tables and to minimize the duplication of data is called normalization. Now more advanced concepts you may have uh, heard, there is something called first degree normalization, second degree normalization, third degree. And that's something we can cover in our future tutorials, but for so for the time being, just, just try to understand the core concepts of normalization, and that's so pretty much all is needed, for, you know, uh, that we try to reduce the duplication of data. Now, having said that, there are certain situations where we may need to uh, duplicate the data. For example, let's say when we... Uh, write queries to run say large reports meaning which in join with you know which gets a uh, big data set or which which involves reading reading uh, or going through the you know thousands or millions of records that in those sort of large query situation if you join two tables or even more then the downside is that query would be slow so there is no doubt of the fact that if we select all the all the information from let's say EMP as opposed to joining EMP and department, there would be maybe however insignificant, but maybe you know, little bit time difference. Because definitely everybody understands that if you join the more table and the the more rows they have, the slower it gets. So uh, so in 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 so in one way is uh, to get everything from one table. So that's where those are the some of the areas where the trade-off needs to happen. Meaning, 
how much we gain by putting uh, more information in one table and taking advantage of uh, of the fact that we can get everything from one table in, instead of joining uh, because that would slow down the query versus <coughs> the headache of duplicating the data which would cause the the uh, the you know the manipulation of uh, scenarios so one thing is to keep in mind is there is there is you know let me write do some whiteboard work uh, so there is something called OLTP application environment and there is something called OLAP so what are these are online transaction processing OLTP and online analytical processing so these these sort of applications tend to be more you can say you know read write heavy what that means is that you are updating lots of you know records constantly or entering lot of records inserting whereas this one is only most just read so that means data doesn't really get updated that frequently but it's 90 percent of it read so typical usage of this sort of application OLAP is something like a, let's say reporting environment where um, you are just running reports and every uh, day at the end of the day you are updating the database whereas this is your more um, more day-to-day -day applications where let's say if you have an accounting system where you know you are entering sales data throughout the day so which is you know uh, which is also a lot of inserts going on now why am I saying all that the reason I'm saying is that um, in this particular case you your main objective is to do lots of queries lots of queries and you and, and you know your objective is to make those queries faster uh, and in this particular case you want to make your write faster means when you are inserting somebody is inserting in accounting or sales data you want to help him to so that you know he can quickly uh, you know submit uh, save the record through a screen and move on to the next one so uh, and so then and, and as opposed to this one where um, you know it has to be just the query has to be good so in in a write heavy application it's better to do um, you know better to do normalization because you don't want to duplicate all the data in one particular table in, in in certain situation if you do that then it may involve updating lot of rows or inserting lot of uh, duplicate data um, but whereas here if you're since your objective is to only query up you know making query faster then you may try to do more of uh, what is called duplication data or more denormalization so that the, let me write down the word normalization which means normalization and which it means removing less doing less duplicates as possible as much as possible and the opposite to do this is D normalization Z or S, you know, depending on uh, whatever is the standard, you can go. I think you know, aside the spelling, so that those are the sort of uh, concepts. Um, so, uh, having said that, let's move on to our um, tables, whatever we are discussing. So, So here we have, uh, so I, I hope you have understood the concepts of uh, normalization. So let's do some examples. So let's say if we, here, if we add, um, you know, department name, that would involve sudden duplication of data. And, you know, sometimes you do for whatever reason, um, you know no more practical scenarios are where we have some level of duplication in most of the situations I mean the perfect normalization is more of a uh, very idealistic scenario which usually doesn't happen but it you should always refrain from doing too much of duplication so try to have 
more structured data where data is mostly separated out into different pieces and only when in most frequent joints so for example if you are doing lots of joints in most of the times you may have in allow some duplicates to be there um, so that that's all pretty much for normalization I hope uh, you've understood uh, uh, the concept and we'll discuss some more advanced concepts in our future videos thank you